What's up, y'all? It's your girl Naya coming from New York City with my co-host Nate Glizzy. We're giving y'all a woman's podcast where every week we're gonna give y'all a millennial perspective on real life topics. Uh, real life topics about you know uh, relationships, once and once and needs, and those how soon, too soon, uh, you know stuff like that. Switch it up. We gonna have different, you know, current events going on in the world. Whatever's hot, what's not. And also, Naya, I love you. <laughs> I love you too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's tell them the moment the truth comes from, all right? Go ahead. Uh, it was a game we started a couple of months ago with each other. Like, we're just in the middle of a conversation, and if you want to know something, like, they have to tell you. Like, and you know, of course, me, myself, I just swear everybody was lying, so. <laughs> Like you, if someone says, "Okay, this moment of truth, Naya," I get to ask Naya anything that I want. She has to be honest. If she's not honest any other day in this moment of truth, you have to be one hundred percent honest about the answer. So that's basically how it came up. I just think everybody's always lying. I don't believe nobody. You trust my truth. I trust your truth. I trust everybody's truth. This is this is what the moment of truth is about. You ever wonder if somebody's lying though? All the time. <laughs> all right, what's up? What are we gonna do this week? What type? What, what topic you got for them? Um, uh, what you like? I'm thinking double standards. Great topic. Great. Great topic. Great topic. Let's do it. Let's do it the Nate way, though. Hmm. I don't trust you. You don't trust me. Then. You don't trust me, and I don't trust you. <laughs> All right, a man don't trust females because everybody's a hoe. Well, personally, I don't think every female is a hoe. I just think that every female is easy, and I just also believe that females should be stronger than what they are to change men's perspective on who they are. You understand know what I'm saying? I don't really think it's that they easy. I think it depends on the you know the, the person. The male. I could have said. When I seen you, nothing was gonna happen. But you could have did more than I expected. But you could have told me that, and I could already knew that something was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly. It's what you do. It's how smooth you are. It's what you you gotta dish it out. But I I can literally feel like I don't have to do nothing to get what I want because I know what I want. You know what I'm saying? I so, don't like, for instance, I had this girl one day. She tells me. Do you have a condom? So I go, yeah, I got a condom. And she says, for what? Because we're not fucking. She wanted to fuck. <laughs> but look, though, I didn't. But because she said that, I knew that that's what she wanted. You understand know what I'm saying? I guess, I guess. So it's like, I didn't have to do too much. Like you said, I didn't have, like, well, like I said, I didn't have to do nothing. Because you already wanted that. You knew. You just told me. You lied to me. You know what I'm saying? This whole time you wanted it and pretending to not want something that you know that you want. So this whole time, I'm going to be cool. You feel me? Men that do too much, I don't think that they will ever succeed. Unless a female is just down to earth thirsty and she just want to say that she did something with that guy that makes someone mad or, you know, shit like that. In this day and time, the world has changed. So what about when a man be like, oh, I just want to see you. I just want to chill. You don't even, you know, we don't got to do nothing. We're going to get some food. We're going back. We're going we gonna to relax, watch a movie. But that's the idea of a perfect date nowadays. A perfect date that winds up, it ends with sex. Yes. It never, it never ends just a movie. I never came just to chill. Like nine times out of 10, somebody had, like, they had sex. So you telling me that that's not messed up? That's okay. Nah. Let's talk about me. No, no I want to talk about you. I want to talk about all men. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got us. I just tried to get us out of the way. But I mean, to each his own. I like movies. I like the end of the night off with a movie. All right, that's you, Nate. What about the world? All of your brothers. Well, well. 
Who's that in your background? Yeah, doing what's up? This is the big guy in the guy. Yeah, doing. I'm gonna bounce. Um, I'm gonna do this. You know. Um, what's, hey, what exactly? I need a, I need a specific question, man. What are you asking me? When you when you call somebody over and you say that it's just gonna be chilling in movies and snacking and stuff, but it winds up with sex. You knew you wanted to have sex, right? Yeah. To be honest, I agree with Nate a little bit. In the front, as far as like, I feel like a girl knows what she gonna do before she ever come to your crib, before she ever come over. Before, like once you had that conversation, it's the fact that she came over in the first place show that you here for a reason, like. Of course, you want to chill, but I don't believe in doing too much either. I feel like you know, a vibe is a vibe. I don't gotta, I don't gotta try to impress you or whatever to try to fuck. Cause you came here, you know, if you feel me, feel how you feel already. Like it take me to get it out of you though, you know. But I gotta do the right things. But yeah, at the end of the day, you knew what you wanted. At the end. Like you came for what you came. Nine times out of ten, like you said, we probably gonna fuck. I never probably really got through a whole movie off that vibe. Like, all right. Like, so not to cut you off, but here's the thing. It's like you come over. Let's for example, me and you. You like me, I like you. We know this already. Now I tell you, come over and let's watch a movie. I did a perfect date, just a movie. Right. But this is you don't know. Like you may feel like the whole time I want to have sex with you. But then it's also a 50 50 chance that all I want is the, to watch that movie. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, uh, all right, let me say this. Let me say this. When I can't, like, say if I, you know, I came to see somebody, whatever. Not to, all right, we start the movie, we chatting, vibing, nothing sexual is going on. Now, me sitting there, I'm thinking in my head, damn, he probably wants sex. Now, the whole time I done sat there, I came over here without thinking about it. But I done thought about it so much and thought about if you was going to make that move so much, I done made myself want the sex. That's how I see it. I feel like I feel like you can't not think about it. Like You just said you don't think about it. If you're coming over, especially if you're coming to spend the night, that got to be a thought in your mind. Like, it has to come across at some point. You knew you was fucking you was spending the night. You knew somebody to touch. This is where I literally had girls come over when I was younger and... We'd probably go out, get some drinks, whatever, come back, and they'll get down to their panties and they bra and get in my bed. And then first time I try to fuck or I try to, you know, touch out, they're, they're terrible. I thought like that's not what they're here for. But I'd be like, why would you come to my house and get in my bed and get fully undressed? And get fully undressed. And then yeah, not- they for pajamas. No, nah, I mean, they, at the end of the day, they all end up fucking. Like, but it's just like, so when you putting on a show or you acting for whatever reason, trying to put on like, you know, like I'm not here for that or I, but I feel like, I don't know, girls be dating like. Power thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I, I think know. they be trying to test themselves, but we fail horribly every time. Yeah, if you're gonna test yourself, lay down with your sweats on or your leggings or whatever, don't don't get fully down to it and then get in my bed. Then. So I have a question, Naya. Right? Yeah. Is it hard to say like, no? And, like, no, I've said no. But like, but, no. Listen, 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 listen. Here's the question, though. It may not be. E- it may be easy to say no, but is it easy to really mean that no? That's the thing. That's what I was about to say. So I could say no. There's a no that means keep going. But damn, I shouldn't have did this. And then there's a no. That's in y'all head, though. That's in y'all head. No, that's then, not. In your head. That's no. Because honestly, I could be in the middle. Honestly, if we in the middle of sex already, and I say no, you should already pull out, put your pants on. But no, y'all, y'all hear me say no, and y'all be like, you really want me to stop? Instead of you just stopping, you just say, you really want me to stop? Or you mean that? No what? Y'all start asking, no what? You, like, what is, as, back up. As, as we should. What do you mean, as we should? If I said no in the, in the right mind, like, by the book, no means no. And if you don't want me to scream, right. you can back up. That's a fact. But no, I say no, and you be like, that was in the mix of a moan, or it was a deep no. You know, like what what no mean? Like stop, <laughs> or you be like stop playing, move your hands or something. Like y'all just y'all got ways to get around it. Y'all make mm-hmm. us feel guilty for saying no. I done got you hard. Now I got to think about you. This is the difference. A bitch can get wet and still go home. She gonna be good. A nigga gonna get hard. Y'all got blue balls. I got to think about. It's it. 
But it is also it's how you say no. no. Don't don't say it's no. Right no. But I'm but just saying. Because no. no. I'm not gonna stop. It don't be niggas trying to reverse the no. Wait, it don't be niggas trying to reverse the no. Hold, hold on, hold on. We gotta introduce. Gotta be trying to figure the no out. Like, real quick, you try. Yeah, we gotta introduce. Yo, what's going on, man? Yo, this is it. Where you from? I'm from the Bronx, of course. What part of the Bronx you from? From the South Bronx. Okay, South Bronx. Else but look, yes, let, me, let me explain. Uh-huh. It's not really so much that the man is trying to reverse the no that you gave, right? When all of this, yo, wow, or no what, or all that come up. It's really the fact that we got this far, and now you saying no, so I really need more of an explanation than anything. like Because really, and it's not that you really own one either, but... It could have really been anything. Like maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I need to know what's going on right now. So I so no what? What you mean no? Like, like explain that no. Like run that back for me. Cause you really right here, right now, getting crazy, and then we stop. So I think that's really where the no come from. Like niggas really want to know what the real vibe is. Y'all don't be putting it on. At the end of the day, does no mean no? No does mean no. I'm it's saying it's no. It's 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 right, so instead of you, because y'all don't y'all don't stop and then say, yo, you good. What's what happened? That's nine times out of ten. Y'all didn't do that. I've had I've somebody, said, oh, I somebody stop and be like, "Are you good?" Like, what happened? And I'm just like, "Oh, I, I really didn't. I didn't come here for this. Like, it happened. It got there, but I really didn't come here for this. Like, and it's that was it. But I've said no, and a nigga be like, "No what? Or why you playing? Or something? Y'all try to reverse it. Y'all don't realize because y'all so into it." But the action stops when it when no what comes. Stop, the y'all slow down and y'all start deep stroking or some shit, trying to make it more love than fuck. I'm already deep stroking. <laughs> 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 oh, you say no, I'm gonna pull out. Right, of course. Hey, but, you got to see the camera when you're doing it. You saying if you deep stroking, right? Niggas keep deep stroking. We already all the way there. If you say no, of course I'm gonna pull out, right? But it has to be a conversation had as to why we in the I middle of that or. Get up. No, no, no. I think it's after. What? It's after only right that after she say no, the conversation doesn't start right there. The conversation. It nah, it does. When she says no, you should no, you should pull out and get it what happened. That's common courtesy. That's sex courtesy. Let me tell you, can I tell you what no mean to me? What's up, y'all? Let me tell no you what gotta mean no. It can't like mean no definitely mean no, right? But like Nate said, bro, like the nose come in the most weirdest predicaments. Like they do. You, you will let me get your pants your ankles, you feel me, hand in the jaw, and then be like, no. So of course my natural reaction is no what? Like not it can't be no this. Like we you, you let me get here, like no what? So it's not that like of course I'm gonna stop. Like everything stops. But, but, like, but it's like, yeah, you gotta you gotta say son, nah, I'm on my period today, or nah. I feel like it's too soon, or nah, I, I bet. Now, you tell me shit like that, like, is your feelings, it's too soon, or you feel like, I'm gonna try to get past that, of course, because I feel like, what's too soon? Like, we got two different perspectives on too soon. Like, I don't feel like it's too soon. I might feel like, if you like me, I like you, we vibing, you in my house, you know? Like, it's not about me telling nobody, it's just like, why not? So that's, that's what I look at the know as, like, I'm like, if I could talk, you wouldn't really, you wanted to do it anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I, it's not, I'm not, you grown, I'm grown. I, ain't, I can't convince you to do nothing that you don't want to do right or wrong. Can somebody convince you to do something you don't want to do? Not at all. So if you say no, and then you still let me touch you. I'm just talking to an inner want of you that you're not trying to let me Yeah, hear. like, if you telling me no, and you get up and be like, no, nigga, no. I'm, nigga, I ain't bet. My fault. Like, I'm I'm sitting down. I might even call you a cat, my life. <laughs> no funny shit. <laughs> You can, I think you just know how to cloud judgment real easily. All right, so off that topic, you gotta you be a strong much on woman, that. like Nate said. You gotta be a strong woman and stay in your values. Now, we're gonna get into a couple. I don't think a it's a value thing, but okay. Get into a couple topics today. How fast is how soon is too soon? How soon is too soon for what? For anything like relationships. For our relationship. I feel like it depends. How soon is too soon with a relationship? Like how soon is too soon to title it? Yeah. Um, I would never jump into anything like quicker than like two, three months. Like I wouldn't put a title on anything quicker than two, three months. But the longest I would wait, like if I was talking to somebody and we just doing this, the longest I would wait before I actually be like, all right now, what is this? It's six months. Okay, so question now. Mm-hmm. 
let's say you get into a, a relationship. In three months, you'll title it. In three months, you title it. Mm-hmm. But the six months, you'll break up. What? what was, you don't think that's too soon? I think that's too soon. Wait, you, is it too soon to make the relationship or too soon to break up? Too soon to break up now. I think it's too soon to break up. Y'all really didn't really... Why? If you really sat there and jumped into this in three months and really said this is what it's going to be, then y'all felt that comfortability. If at three months after y'all made that, something went wrong and it wasn't really that serious, that's something we're fighting for. Can I answer your question? Go ahead. I'm you feel answer like, my question. I feel like he said, he said, how you know too soon is too soon? I feel like all of that is relative. Like, Yeah, it's a vibe thing. It's, yeah, it's all relative. It depends on who the person is. Like, honestly, nothing, once you pass a certain age, nothing's too soon, nothing's too long. Like, you know what I'm saying? Time is just time, bro. Like, you don't know how long you got promised here. You don't know how long the other person got promised here. So it's like, um, if y'all vibing and y'all um, can do that, then y'all do that. If y'all don't really want to go that far, that fast, then y'all don't do that. But it's really just, it's, it's up to the, the individual person. See, now I don't agree. Now, let me tell you why I don't agree. Do you agree? I don't fully agree with that. You don't agree with the time thing? It's always a too soon. Like it's, it's definitely too soon. It's mm-hmm. always a too soon. I just seen people jump in the shit and feel like they love somebody after three, four months, five months, and then after you get into a relationship, it, everything can change. People vibe for some people jump in, they still ride. I, I I got very few examples of that, bro. Um, yes, so I, I, I got way speaking more of examples. Than, speaking of examples, I will give my example first, then you know you can go now. You can go. You can go. Well, for example, like too soon is too soon. I think. How fast do I think too soon is? I think too soon is is definitely three months. Mm-hmm. Me personally, like I'm I'm the family type of guy. You feel me? Like yeah, I like fool around and all that here and there. But I'm a family type of man, so it's like I'm not. I can't just call you. I can't just marry you after a year. You feel me? I can't just get into a relationship with you after six months. A year. Maybe because that's 12 whole months being with somebody every day, getting to know them. We're in a relationship now, so we live together. We pass the talking stage, <laughs> go to each other's house. We're in a relationship now, we live together. So it's like, in order for me to live with you, I have to know you, your living history, the way you are. I gotta at see least, how you get when shit get thick. Exactly. When shit get thick, perfect example. When shit get thick, I have to see the type of person that you are three years prior to me moving in with you or three years prior to me being in a relationship with you. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cause the minute I get into a relationship with you after three months and I call you my girlfriend, I don't know who you are in three months for real. I don't know you. How could you get to know somebody in three months? Exactly. How could you say that you know somebody and you don't fully know who they are or where they are is really at before you? You feel me? It's different with everyone. Some relationships, not relationship, but you know, like some situations they move faster than others. Some situations get deeper than others, like in a different time span. So you really can't just say three months is too soon. I say that because I know myself. I know how I open up. I know how slowly I'm gonna break this wall down. I know how much I'm gonna give you. But some people believe in love at first sight. Some people believe in, you know, like you can't really tell yourself how fast to fall in love with somebody. You can't tell yourself how soon to give your body to them. You can't tell yourself how soon it's helping them out with, you know, like different things. Okay. They- the thing is, I think is, I feel like, I feel like you don't know me fully, like, like you said, because say in three, four months, say, say we, you took it for four months, five months, six months, and I'm up. Let's say I got a bag at that time. So, you know, I got money you used to me having shit and used to me being able to do shit for you and whatever. And then I make you my girl. And then let's say that bag run, run low after a while. Like I'm not even, you know, I'm barely doing shit. Like I'm, I'm chilling around, I'm sitting around. You, you don't like you don't know that you like me like that like you like me being up you don't know that you like me when i'm fucked up you don't know how long i'm gonna be fucked up you might not be the girl who want to take care of a nigga like i feel like that's too soon because you like shit can happen anything can happen and until i until i see you in certain situations like i get sick i see you in the hospital for me i, I get down i see you take you for me looking out for me shit like that like then i know i like, bet that but let's like, say let's say you had that type of life where all of that happens like right away when you meet a person and then they prove themselves real, real early. That's what let's, I'm saying. Let's say, let's say you meet somebody and y'all really vibing and you see them almost every day, all day for the first month of you being with her, right? And mm-hmm. let's say fucking month two, your kidney failed. 
And she's like, fuck it, I'll give you a kidney. And then month, and then after that, she's helping you heal after you in the hospital yeah, and all that. And then is month three, you look at her and you're like, fuck, I, I really love this bitch. Like, I don't know how. It, it can happen. It's I possible. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's possible. It's, it's, it, it's not but common. See, it's not see? common. Correct. But look, here's but what I think about impossible. that. Here's what I think about that. We need to charge with not talking yeah. about that. But here's what I think about that. I feel like with a female doing all of that, I feel like now I did like you and I do love you, but it's more than a love thing now. I feel like I owe you now. You know what I'm but saying? You and also love her. I can owe you, I owe, you, owe you and love you, but not want to be with you as no, well. Listen, listen, listen. If this is real, if this is what we think it is, it's no such thing as owing me. That's yeah. how I feel. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I loved you, and I felt like I could do something for you, and I could give you a thousand dollars today to help you fix some some shit. I don't want to wake up tomorrow if I feel like next week. Even if you told me, "Yo, give me this thousand, I'm gonna pay you back in a month. Give me a, a direct date and everything." I don't. If I feel like on that date, I'm ready to ask you for my money. That wasn't love. You ain't do that out of the kindness in your heart. You did it because you was expecting it back. Honestly, honestly, if you give me a date on when you gonna have my bread. <laughs> I'm hitting that phone. <laughs> 12 a.m. <laughs> that is my love, Nate. Not love. Give me my bread. <laughs> you said at what's today's date, y'all? <laughs> Monday, April 6th. You said you're gonna have my bread, nigga. What? Wednesday, April what? Eighth? Uh, nigga, I'm calling you at 12 midnight. Like, Where's my it, bread? It depending on our relationship, though. But that's, you that's, right. if if that's on what's going on from day one, then that's that that's just the understanding y'all got. I gave it to you. It might be yeah, exactly. Yeah. But if I made it seem like I was gonna hold you down, even if I like, I'm the type of person. Let me borrow a hundred dollars till next week. I'm. I will give you that hundred dollars back regardless. Okay. Well, I hate, person, I hate a person that called me to remind me days before. Okay. So like in this in this day and era, it's like, I right, I'm 25, right? <laughs> I've been in. I want to say two relationships now, but I had serious cooking stages with like two girls too as well. So that means any other girl I dealt with was just a kill. But for those who y'all, I'm from New York City. If y'all know what a kill is, a kill is something that you fuck and don't ever have no relationships, no ties, no nothing. Y'all just fuck whenever y'all want to fuck and that's all. That's what a kill is. New York City shit. <laughs> but back to this though. Like, in my relationships, I don't feel like, personally, I don't feel like no female has ever done me wrong. Uh, The women that I was just talking to, seriously talking to, I feel like they were being hoes. So, because I feel like they had the potential to be my girlfriend, now I don't know what my girlfriends was really doing. You understand what I'm saying? But you can't. Being a hoe is like fucking niggas. Like you, like you talk to me. I understand. Cool, we're not in a relationship, but we have a respect and we have an understanding. You understand know what I'm saying? So if you go against our agreement, you're being a hoe. I don't like unspoken agreements. Stop assuming because what you're doing, I'm going to be on that on that on that same time. That's true. That's true because we don't like unspoken agreements either. That's true. Do that a lot. Person, I need us to. We gonna do what? All right, that's just that. That's don't true. think because you stop fucking with who you fucking with, and we talk now that I'm just gonna stop fucking with who I'm fucking with. We gotta make that clear. That's a fact. And if it was never addressed, then you gotta assume that's what's happening anyway. That's really where the toxic shit comes in. That's where it comes in, and the bitch is crazy, and the niggas wondering why. Y'all done made it seem like y'all was just about me, but really it's me, her, and she, and then it's me. Chasing after you, wondering why I'm not getting this, why I'm not getting that. You know what fucks a lot of relationships up? Assumptions. Yeah. Like, starts off because one of the, one person on either side, it really don't got to be the woman or the man, but they'll usually assume something different of the person that they with. They assume that it's something that it's not. Or really, it's it's all assumptions until y'all sit down and have like a concrete conversation. And then a concrete conversation has to be had in finished. It can't be like being around a bush and not, no shit like that. There's room for error. That's the problem. Some people can't talk. Some people really can't talk. You know, so The real problem is people don't know how to listen. That too. That too. Not, That's not, what the conversation is. The conversation is a back and forth. It gotta be. 
taking in what you're saying. They just trying to finish this up so they can get their point across. That's the problem in a lot of relationships. That's why a lot of shit is going wrong with this. That's, what, right. that's, why, that's why I always used to tell people some people listen. Some people, some people, some people just listen just to talk, listen to respond, and some people listen to understand. Yeah. Like, I feel like in his in his in his my pet peeve, like one of my pet peeves, like when you try to explain something to somebody in the most simplest way ever, and they don't understand. And someone once told me before that. You're just only gonna make yourself mad trying to get somebody to understand something that they'll never understand. That's a fact. It's not meant for everybody. So I feel like you have to talk and have a, 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 a agreement on where y'all stand. You feel me? But more of the story is like I was we we had an understanding and they were fucking niggas lying to me about fucking them, like doing shit like that, but. What I'm in my crib doing is actually spending bread on them, making sure they're having a good time. I can't go out. I can't really do too much. You feel me? I was shot at the time. So I couldn't get up and go out and really pay attention to, to what my girl's doing. Or I'm not one of them dudes to have a friend keeping an eye out on my significant other and shit like that. Like, I'm not, uh, what you call that? <laughs> not a jealous nigga. I said stalker. I'm not a stoker, I'm not a jealous nigga, I'm not none of that, but you see- You're not I, protective, like you're not like, you're not controlling. We, yes, that, our relationship, we wasn't boyfriend and girlfriend, but what was established was, you my bitch and I'm your nigga. New York shit. New York. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> I'm established nigga, you my girl nigga. And I'm your man. So, that it's right there, New York is toxic. All right. That shit ain't. Yeah. Cause that ain't really his world. That's not really his I mean, It was established with words, but with actions, it was a relationship with no title. That's what I call it. That was fucked up then. So it was my fault then. <laughs> <laughs> that was really my story. She, when I got, I thought, when she found out, all right, here's the rundown on me and one of those shorties. <laughs> nah, you're supposed to be asking me this. Look, right. the rundown. I got shot. I, well, I got locked up. She was the last girl I was with. I come home. I get shot. She comes in the hospital 10 minutes later. The first female I see. Long story short, a month later, I leave the hospital. She's living with me now. For nine months strong. But during that whole nine months, she was doing you dirty. I called in like the probably like the fifth month and found out that she was getting dropped off and picked up by some dude. My crib was supposed to be her aunt's house. Wow. Shit like that. How did you make it to nine months if you call her at five months? Because I'm so much of a real nigga, she ain't had no place to go. So I let her stay with me. You a sucker. I'm a sucker ass nigga. I'm a sucker for love. I love it. <laughs> I was a younger me though, which is why so, you, let her stay, you let her stay there all the way until she figured out where she was gonna go. Until she got a job. So she got a job, but still nowhere to go. And she got out. You don't feel like you could figure that out. That's what I'm saying. You, you don't feel like you could figure it out. Huh? I was I was shot up, so I used her how she used me. But you don't. I just want to know. How would you use her for ass? To no, suck dick for head and to clean my house and to clean me. All right. So you don't feel like with all that she was doing, she might have. All right. With her taking care of you, even if she was real or not a real bitch, whatever. You don't think that with all she was doing for you, you couldn't you couldn't look past what she like her outside activities. Was it with one person or did you find out it was multiple niggas? Two niggas. Three niggas. Oh. I'm lying. She fucked three niggas. She fucked two niggas. And then years later. You still in contact with her. You couldn't I mean, work it out. You said what? You couldn't work it out. If you still was gonna be in contact with her, still be cool with her. Oh no, nah, we could be cool, but we can't do nothing else. 
Uh, yes. you can't right now, let me flip this on you. If she was sick, you was wiping her ass and taking care of her. But she couldn't she couldn't go out. She couldn't give you the attention you really needed. She couldn't make the moves that you might have wanted to make at the time. You would have went and found somebody else to fill yeah. in. That's a void. You don't realize that. Just because she can't care of the clean you, feed you. At the end of the day, I want to be taken out. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I might have not looked for three niggas, but I probably would have looked for one nigga to fill every void that you're missing. That's a fact. I can respect that, though. <laughs> but, but, one person, you, you would have cut it down? Yeah. I'm respecting that. Even right now to this day. In this day and ever right now, if, if you want a relationship with me, right, and I don't want a relationship with you, but you are allowing us to have sex still and talk to me and give me conversation, you entertain me, I entertain you, but I don't want a relationship. If you tell me today or tomorrow that you want to be in a relationship with someone else, I'm gonna respect that because I'm not gonna hold you back, lovely. I want you to be happy too. If you happy, I'm happy. As long as we can be friends still, I'm accepting your relationship. So you would have preferred if she just came home and said, look, I'm gonna still be here for you, da 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 da. Yeah, because now I know what's up. Yeah. I know that I don't gotta give you my money if you getting money from someplace else. How you know she was getting money from someplace else? What if she was just having fun? Bro, how you have fun with no job? On you your know? money? Nah, look, here's the thing. I give you a certain amount of money to spend. There's no way you coming back with more money than I gave you. Oh, well, that was probably right, cool. <laughs> you you get money from some, nigga else, right? from some other nigga, right? All right, bet. You gotta, you gotta flip it. I bet. That's all I was about. Like, you feel me? I don't really be tripping, but it's just the principle. Like, don't try to play me for a fool when you can really just tell me what's up. Cause I like, got a question for you. Yes. In your relationships, if they would have cheated on you, could you have taken them back? It depends on it depends on the circumstances. I'm saying. Like you guys, you know, I say the extra four months. I think that's taking her back. I, that was taking her back. Because mm. my thing is, especially if you knew, I, if you found this, out everything you found out that same day, true. I would have never. I could have never. Like you couldn't, you couldn't stay another day. Turn the camera. But yeah, like I said, like I just me personally, like, I couldn't do it. Like that whole, especially living with me, like if that was your girl, you wouldn't take her back. No, 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 especially not right then. Not like you can't continue, you can't stay with me still. Like, you got to go somewhere at least for a little while, do my space, let me think, process. I might get over like, but you got to think about the fact that he was shot and she was taking care of him. So, him telling her to go was kind of, it was kind of fucking his shit up. That sounds good. Like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, if, especially if you my girl, you my bitch, like. I expect, like you said, I expect certain shit of you. So I don't consider that doing too much. If I'm shot and I can't do shit right now, that's not forever. That's, you know, you, you, take, you probably got to take care of me for a little while, but that's not going to be forever. Like, so when I'm back on my feet and I'm good, I'm going to take care of you. And her but if, though? And vice versa, that's, you got to put it in other perspective too. Like, if a girl, if, if you as a female, if you would have got sick, let's say you get sick, you get pneumonia or whatever, like you bedridden. You know, that's not your fault. There's nothing you can do about that, but that's not forever. You're going to get through it like that. And I'm your nigga, and I'm taking care of you, but I feel like I right, bet since you can't really fuck with, you can't really do whatever shit for me right now. I'm about to go fuck. I'm about to go, you know, fuck with her or, or her or whatever. You're not gonna tell me you're not gonna be mad because you feel like you couldn't do so much shit for me, so I had to go get it from somewhere else. You're gonna be like, nah, you couldn't wait, nigga. Like that's how y'all gonna look at us. So it's the same thing, vice versa. If I'm shot or I'm fucked up right now, and you gotta take care of me for a little while. You know, if you if you don't want to do that, then say that. You know, I'm out. I want to fuck with this nigga. This nigga, he got a call. He got a ah uh, ah. Uh, say that. And, you know, move from there. But yeah, as far as like, you know, I, know, I know you fucked these niggas while you was living with me. Nah. nah. I'm saying if it was just one nigga though, not three. One nigga, we can maybe talk about it. Think of like you could probably finesse me if you tell me the right thing. Yo, I was vulnerable. I was, you know, it was that nature violated or you got mad at me and I went out, even whatever, like. So you, okay, so since you said that, it was the night you violated me or whatever. You feel like if we had this big ass, 
not, switch is not about them, but just in general. If we had a big ass argument, shit was thrown, I put hands on you, da da da. If I went out and fucked a nigga and came back and told you like it was cause of this, like you you made me do it. No, I'm saying that'll give me a little more to think about. And All I'm, right. I'm saying yeah, about you know, that. that. And I'm saying by myself smoking that blunt, and I'm like, damn, she really fucked another nigga. Smoking that blunt. But I'm like, damn, you have been out here for me doing this. I, I could probably talk to myself and talk myself out of being mad as much. But if you don't got a leg to stand on, and the only thing you can tell me that you was taking care of me for a couple months, I'm not jacking it. And, you know, that's just how I feel. But we can talk. Like, give, me, give me a little while, you know. Let me calm down. I could probably call you one day. You know, talk to me about it. You explain your situation, your look, or even even if you just say I fucked up, like yo, look, you know I fucked up, my bad. Like shit happens, <laughs> you know. Explain it to me. Like I can probably I listen to you. I hear you out. Nah, I'm cheating. Do you think that's the problem? No, I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe in cheating back. Like I feel like that's corny. Don't cheat. I, I used to believe in tag back. Yeah, I don't believe in the tag back. I feel like never, for, all that, never that, for all that dub me. For all that, if you find out how to fuck somebody, you feel like you want to fuck somebody else, just, just dub me. No, no, no. I don't feel like that. Nah. Here's the I thing, that like niggas, this the problem. The real problem is that a nigga could cheat. Women suck that shit up and keep it pushing. If I really, really want you, I'm going to just do more to make sure you don't go down that path or I'm going to just try to figure out what made you go down that path. But I'm going to take you back as long as it wasn't like a disrespectful cheat. I'm a person like... I could take you back if you cheated, but if I found out that you built a bomb with this bitch, I'm gonna end y'all. It's different. Right. <laughs> Keyword is y'all. I right, see. Look, here's the thing. Like, nah, if you fuck another nigga on me, yeah, I can't stomach you me. You don't want to be with me. Why? Did when you fucked him? Was you saying y'all? I'm leaving my bitch. Nah, but look, here's the thing. If I ask you for forgiveness and I'm, you know, working towards, the working towards uh, you know, a future ahead of us and I'm getting, gaining all your trust back and all that, all right, cool. That's if I fucked the female and I did wrong and I'm doing all those things to take to get you back. If you take me back, take me back if you know you are 100% sure that I am 100% sure not going to do it again. That's the thing. Yes, yes. Nate, if me and you was together right now, shit was great. We seven years in, fucking married. Who knows? I cheat and come back and you find out. Could you really sit there and say, will will it happen again? Are you going to let this happen again? I'll take you back if you're not going to let it happen. I don't know that. I didn't know I was going to cheat this now. I didn't know that. I really would never take a nigga back and say, you can't let this happen again. I want to ask you that. It's about being sure. Yeah, but you're not sure because you were you didn't know that it was gonna happen that first time. That's a fact. And so I could sit here and tell you that. Honestly, I think I can. No, because it could be this could be a problem. I could have cheated, right? Shit was so bomb. I told myself it's a one time thing, but now I come back and have sex with you, and damn, he didn't do that thing this nigga did. Exactly my point. So you can never, I didn't know I was going to go back. I didn't know that after I had sex with you, after that, I was going to start comparing y'all. I didn't know that was going to happen. I didn't know I was going to go back and start thinking about cheating again. See, that's the thing about women. Here's the thing about men, though. No, I knew it. Listen, listen, though, honestly. My millennial perspective. (laughs) If I think, like... If if I fuck like I right, look, if I fuck somebody, I got a girlfriend, right? Like you said, we together, we married, whatever the case may be. If I go outside and I fuck somebody, nine times out of ten, this is not a person that I'm, I'm just with. trying to build with or I'm talking to or anything. This is just a person that's lust for so, like you can't have lust. I'm not saying that you can't, but I'm, what I'm saying is, look, I'm going off of what you just told me, though. Fuck saying lust. I'm letting you know what. That was lust. Okay. It was, it's not lust now because you're comparing us. 
No, that's about sex. I'm lusting over him. Which is now why you keep fucking him. For because, sex. Not because we built anything. Exactly. But look, me, me, I'm not going to go keep fucking her. Whether her shit is fire or not, that's just a once in a lifetime thing maybe. Some men, some men do, but most men are not comparing a wife to another female that they just dealt with. But you see, this here's, here's, here's the double standard now. Everything you said was a double standard. Exactly, but I'm just saying, though, I'm just bringing it up. I'm just bringing it up. That's definitely a double standard. Though. Here's the thing now. But it's a thing, man. It's a real thing. Like, a real thing. <laughs> what was your reason for, what was your reason for fucking that other man? I was out with my girls. Everything is good. We good, though. We married for seven years. One drink too many. One drink too many and you fucked the nigga. And it went from you fucking him to continuously fucking him because he fucked better than me. No, I didn't say I would. I'm just saying, how do you know that? How do you know? No, I would? No, 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 no. You said out your mouth, though. I said that because it's possible. Okay, now I'm going off what you said. Now we're not thinking of nothing else you didn't say. I'm going off what right. you said. You keep, you continuously fucking this nigga. Now you're comparing us to because his sex is better than mine. Right? Mm-hmm. Bet. Now, me now, I'm out with my guys, one drink too many. I fuck a bitch. It's like, oh, dear. Last night was locked. It'll never happen again, though. It'll happen again just with a different bitch. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. This is the, this, Mm -hmm. and this is why it becomes another double standard because this is. No, that's really a fact. Taking your shit out. That's really a fact. No, because you're going to fuck another bitch maybe six months from then. It's a new bitch. The problem here is not that I fell in love with the nigga I was fucking. It's the fact that I can't even walk around stomaching the thought that I don't let six different niggas hit this year. So that's why I'm going to that same nigga. But for you, that's cool. It's all good in the neighborhood for a nigga to rack up on them bodies and have them numbers. This is a new nigga. I can't get my off with you, Rick, Ta, Ta. Listen, listen. This is a new nigga you fucking know. All right. But say, all right, boom. So if I cheated on you right now, Boom, you got over it. Six months down the line, I cheat again, but it's a new nigga. You gonna get over it again? I'm gonna be like, bitch, you a hoe. Right. But if I cheated with you the first time, you cheated six months down the line with the same nigga. Now, you know how many times I'm going to jail? You going to jail? Yeah, cause you dying. No, you dying. Don't <laughs> let you cheat again. Nah, that's a fact. Dad, you cheat. Oh, I take her back and I cheat baby back, and you going to a certain where you going to think like, oh my I'm god, she going to fuck another nigga again. She's not up to bar. Yeah, I can't. Everybody's getting the camera. This ain't going up. Don't worry about it. This is good. I think this is going up. I'm in the background. <laughs> I'm the background break. This quarantine cut. Come on. It's going up, man. It's going up. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, the day, that's a that's a it's a clear double standard, bro. Like, yeah, it's a yeah. double standard all the way through and through. Cheating double standard. Cheat, cheat. Not for nothing. You don't understand that. Like, when you cheat on me, you really break a piece of me. Like, you really. What about me? Nah, but you take me out. Because I'm no longer that nigga. You know how I know it hit different for both? Because you can say what you want, but it's way easier for a female to take a nigga back than for a nigga That's to take a female back. We're raised to think niggas is gonna fuck up. Y'all raised but, to think the bitch is gonna be loyal through and through. That's the problem. We already stomached the thought that when we said you can do that outside, it takes the female to be the one to take us back. If I cheat uh, and you take me back, what's stopping me from doing it again? That's the problem. But that's what I'm saying. That's where you gotta take responsibility as a female. Like you ain't have to take it back. But now look, but now look. You could cheat the first time. I could say I'm done and walk away. Are you really going to let me walk away? You're going to say, it was the first time. I swear it won't happen again. You're going to walk that L, walk away. As a, nigga, a nigga. as a nigga, I'm supposed to plead my case. I'm supposed right. to try. No, see, that's the problem. It shouldn't be as a nigga. As this a person in general, I should be able to plead my case. Because if I cheated on you and you said you was done and walking away, y'all would not listen to my explanation. Y'all probably want to hear how it happened. Like, let me make one more point. Let me make one more point. All right, say we in a relationship, right? Me and you. It's harder for a random nigga who got you on Instagram to get you to pull up and fuck 
than it is for a female who randomly on Instagram hit me up for me to fuck. As a nigga, like, it's hard to get a girl in a relationship to do anything. It's so my, power, though. So my thing is, if if I feel like it's harder for, for a nigga to, to fuck a girl in a relationship, then I don't feel like it's random. I feel like you've been talking to this nigga. I feel like, yeah, I had to establish something. If you if you feel like it's, it's okay for you to fuck a nigga and keep fucking him, yeah, I had to have some type of relationship. Or I, I get it, like, you might say you might be in it for dick, but to a nigga, like, it's always deeper than that. It's never just that. But if I can say as a, as a man, like it's fucked up, but we could really go cheat, and it's not it's not okay. But like we could really go cheat, and I swear to God, bro, as soon as we bust that nut, like the second that shit come out, all your senses come back. You like, oh shit, am I never? Why what am I doing in this telly? I'm bugging my girl. I don't, why, like, you feel me? Like it's really that like, like that. Like you go home, you never talk to her again. Like. And it's not okay, but it's really light. Nah, it's so real. Cause if I, I think she's so going to I don't think girls is doing that, to be honest. I feel like you fuck a nigga, like you say you fuck you the right way. You're not thinking about all that extra shit, like, damn, I gotta come back. Cause this nigga fuck. I got a question. I got a question for y'all. Mm-hmm. Say I pulled up on you. First time we late, I fuck you. You think that I had feelings? You think that I was in it? I was into it, or you think it was just a fuck? It depends. Sometimes you just be in it. No, no, no. Let me say something. Though. I'm literally saying, like, we just, you wrote me, fuck it. You wrote me that Wednesday. Let me say something. Let me say out for that Friday. I come. The Netflix and chill happens. We fuck. I leave. Do you really think that feelings were built there? It all depends on where I got you from. That's no. how I'm saying. It what you mean, no? Because how I started on? talking to you in the first Example, like how you think I started talking to you? How we get how we got here? How I got here? You think I just you think I just I'm a blind man just walking into your DM? Like it could have been a girl I knew for a while long and always wanted to fuck, but never got right, you saying somebody you didn't know. Somebody all right, fuck it. Somebody you didn't know. Somebody I know put me on to you. We text, probably chat two, three days, figure out a date. I come, we fuck. I got feelings? Nope. No. Thank you. You gonna leave with feelings though. You came here ah. with the intention to fuck, but nine times out of ten, you leave it with feelings. Why are you leaving with feelings? Butterfly. Nah, bro. I seen it a hundred times, bro. I didn't see girls say, "Yo, we just fucking," and I swear to God, bro, everything switched up after probably the third fuck. Now it's like, all right, back. What is this? Like, how you coming at me like that? The time, <laughs> it's the timing. Because look, if you fuck me that Friday, I'm back Sunday. I'm back Wednesday. We done had a week full of fucking. This ain't just fucking. Fucking is really just, yo, I seen you last week. Yo, I'm going to hit you in a month. Yo, I'm going to call this bitch real quick. I know I, I, I can get it. You cannot put that hold kind on, of time on, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fucking is fucking. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me no, tell you something. I'm going to tell you. No, I'm going to tell you something. If I came four times, it's seven days in a week. If I came four times out of seven to see you and we feelings. fucked, catch one of us is catching feelings. It's not necessarily the girl. One of us is catching feelings. Now, if this is going on four times a week for a month, that's more than just fucking. I okay. should be able to call you. Yeah, that's a fuck buddy. That's a fuck buddy. I but agree. I, I agree. Somebody's gonna be. Somebody's gonna catch feelings. Nine times out of ten is gonna be the, the female. We can say eight. We can say. Eight. Not even catching feelings, but somebody's gonna want. Somebody I'm, gonna give them eight. I'm not giving them nothing. I'm not giving eight. eight. Giving them nothing. Somebody's gonna want balance. You see them with I know. Get trip over over fire pussy or fire like I seen that I too. Just, I seen I, that I too, seen bro. I seen that too. But, but this era, this era of time. First of all, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a nigga who catch feelings, nigga. If you, <laughs> nigga, you got me coming to your crib, nigga. Four times a day of the week, four times a day of the week. I'm like, nigga, I live here too now. Can I bring my game, please? Like something, I might like you now, cause now that's my comfortable zone. That's my comfort zone now. I know that I could be someplace. You feel me? Can you make that girl your wife? No. You can't yeah. make the girl you fucked on the first date your wife? Yeah, but that would make you my yeah, wife. Can I be your girlfriend? I could. It depends. Yeah, can yeah. you could be my girl, but like, like I said before. Back? What? Is me fucking you on the first day gonna hold you back? 
No. For, no, for a little while. No, I, honestly. It's going to hold back for a few months. <laughs> I got I to gotta make you my nigga, my husband. You know what, you know, what, a nigga, what a nigga would think is, like, honestly, me and they talk about this all the time. Like, we don't feel special. I don't feel special. I don't feel like nothing really, you feel me? Of course, the shit that's coming away from, from the next man, but it's like, in your eyes, you don't know me from a hole in the world. I don't think I'm special, especially on the gram. If you just pulled up on me on the gram, like it's another nigga out there with fly. You feel me? Look more better than, me, than me, more bang, more whatever. Money, like yeah, shit like that. So it's like not that we can't, but like it's just that. So if you came and you fucked me on the first day, I don't gotta assume that you probably did this recently or in the past. But of course, I'm thinking you fucking like you probably came. You did you this probably, You probably vibe with another nigga that you like last week or two. And liked him and let him fuck. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it, it looked like. But that's how niggas, like childish niggas think. But I don't really care. Like, fucking on the first day never really mattered to me. Yeah, I didn't see yeah. people really, like you said, both fall in love with a bitch that he fucked on the first day. It was supposed to just be a kid and a nigga ended up falling in love. I didn't see that 10 times over. Like, never really mattered. But you know why? You know why? You know why? But you know why you catch feelings? It's hard because you treat them. Listen, 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 listen to why you, the mm -hmm. feelings come in. Because a kill is supposed to be a kill. You have sex, you get up, and you leave. People have sex and lay down, and they talk. <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where the feelings come in at. Why you want? Why you want to talk to me? You supposed to get up and dip, but it's so rude of me to make you like. Pe people want men like women expect men to be bluntly like they say all the time. Oh, why? Why you can't just tell me you just want to fuck? Why can't you? Because nine times out of ten, maybe I do. I do it now. Before I used to gas him up. Yeah, baby, I love you. <laughs> I now, love you. <laughs> now I tell him now, like yo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. I like your vibe and all that. Like we can vibe and all that. But I definitely do want to fuck. Don't get me wrong. We can be friends and shit. But I'm letting you know now up front. I definitely want to fuck you. And then they laugh. He he he. Now is whether they. I might. It might take me a little longer to fuck because I told him that up front. You feel me? If I'd have never told you that up front, I'll fuck you tomorrow. Yeah. You don't even know what type of time I'm on. Like, I might eat it on the first night and all that. Who knows? I might open it. <laughs> well, <laughs> you feel me? No. <laughs> you look good. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, though. You feel me? No, sir. You don't. Okay. Nigga, not open you up. You don't know how far niggas willing to do. Like, like for instance, like, I know niggas. What's the furthest? What's the Craziest thing a nigga did for sex, for you, for your sex though. Tell me, what's yeah. the craziest thing? Eat it on the first date, Akira. What's the craziest thing a nigga did for some of your sex? Um, you know what I think is brave anyway. I don't know. I niggas would, I know the DM like telling you what they do to you. I would lick you from front to back. But that I open, you, I, but that open girl. That's that's yeah, that's yeah, that's her name. Don't yours. write me and say yo, I let you get up and shower. I'm gonna from your head to your being Why the That's fuck are you picturing me like that already? But how do I how do I even know that about you? How you look? Because you look That's good. Not because my body is nice. But what if I get to your front door and you smell me from there? That's a fact. But look, look back to that. I'm expecting you to I'm not a thing. What's the craziest thing a nigga did for some of your sex? I don't even think that was the craziest thing. That's not even that crazy anymore. Yeah, for some of your sex, or Damn, I don't know. like, what's the craziest thing a nigga did for some of your sex? Okay. Probably head. Head is good. Probably head really make you think like, oh, you trust me, trust me. Yeah, because yeah. I'm not yeah. giving you head the first. That's yeah. just out the window. I'm I not giving you head. head the first. And really? first of all, anybody that give me head on the first day, I think you do this for everybody. Yeah, so that's you a can't fact. kiss me. I don't even. But that's how you think that's about head. That's the same, that's the same thing about fucking me on the first night. That's the same thing. Exactly what you said is like that's the mindset for niggas when you fuck. Yeah, I just feel like if you really sat here and took all these juices, you don't know if I shaved, you don't know if I bathed, you don't know. Last time I had a fucking decent. You don't know when I. You don't. You know when the You don't know when the last time I shaved because I definitely don't got to shave one when that's I ripped you, when I ripped you. But you don't know when the last time I bathed though. Exactly. Yeah. And but the thing is that with females, with females and males, it's ten times more juices. It's ten times more bacteria coming into a man's mouth than it is a man ejaculating in the bitch mouth. 
Well, it, yes, 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 yes. Do you use a condom for head? No, for sex, yes. For sex? Head, Not just like nobody's using a condom or... I've used a condom for head before, but for head, me, honestly speaking, I'm a nasty ass nigga. I'm going, like, you gotta pick it up with two hands, like, spitting all that, all on your hands, like, I don't know. Go, go, go. I can't feel that, nigga, I need the 5,000. What's that new shit they made up? <laughs> I need that. I don't want no, nah, that's whack, like, so, but it's, it's, it's stupid. Niggas that get head without condom has sex condom. It's crazy. I feel yeah. like I could have gave you backwards. I don't think it's backwards. I, you anything. Oh, shit, you I don't think it's backwards. I just think it's stupid. It is stupid, but. It's stupid. But I, it's I don't even want head from a nigga I don't know. I don't even like head in general. So for you to feel like you're just going to put your spit there, I don't know what your spit contains of. I don't know what you ate today. I could be allergic to that. It's just too much going on. That's a fact. I, don't, I pay attention to that. I'm not even. I'm not even throwing that out there in the first. Yeah. The first day, I'm not throwing that out there until I watch what you eat on a regular. I watch how you bathe on a regular. I gotta yeah. really know you and your routines. Cause not times out of ten. The thing about niggas, niggas be so horny. So, like I said, the craziest thing in the niggas will do anything for sex. Like a nigga will eat your whole ass. Suck your ear for an hour if that's your fetish. <laughs> like niggas do, niggas that's, do. That's 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 definitely your ass. Yeah. It that's is. Like a nigga do anything just to feel, just to feel you, like just to, just so he can fuck you. And but you thinking you're not gonna fuck this man, but he done did some shit. Like you said, no nigga has ever done to you. Now that's making you want penetration. It's different from somebody licking you like a dog and penetrating you like a drill. It's two different things. It's two different things. Nah, real shit. It's two different things. So a nigga can make a nigga can really make you want penetration like a man. You can make like women can make niggas want to eat it. Or for how good the sex is, you feel me? Like nah, sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, yeah, it but it depends on who you are. Sometimes, not even who you are. I feel like if your sex is super fire and you just you just pass the rate of looking good, a nigga gonna eat that. Not me, <laughs> bro. What type of female you eat? It's not even the type of female, but you know what it take. What it it's, takes? It's a time thing in me, bro. It's like, I got to know you around. I care. You got to be around me enough to where I feel like you're not really fucking nobody else. You're not letting other niggas. You feel me? I'm going to be 100,000, bro. I know that. I got to want to do it, bro. Like, it can't. But look, it don't matter, bro. Because look, that's like knowing that a girl, like, I look me, for instance, example. I fucked with a girl before and I knew she had a boyfriend, bro. I knew she had a, I knew she had a man. You ate it? Yeah, I did. Nah, you different. That's that's not <laughs> that's a nigga's dick on a regular. Out of ten, bro, he it don't matter. Every and niggas, day, nothing I, in that. Room. Okay, yes, cool. But listen, you throw your face right in there. That's different. Look, but that don't mean I throw my face in anything, though. Yes, it do. It don't because I liked her. What the fuck does that mean? What, what that mean? Like me? She not just anybody no more because you like her. Nah, but look, she told me that she wasn't. They wasn't really. Nah, I mean, she can tell you anything. Exactly. Bro. I could tell you right now. I ain't had sex in six months. You that's believe like, me? You see what I'm saying? You know why? You know why that's dangerous for me, bro? Because I wouldn't even <laughs> lie like that. Look, a nigga, look, niggas gonna do what they do. So what's to say her boyfriend or her her, her baby? Right, so look, let me ask you something. Not let me ask you every day. Right, let me ask you bro, something. Let me you ask you something back to her, and you threw your. Face I listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to your face. Right. We gonna point. We gonna point. We gonna point this big double standard out right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Right now. Now the that you just said that you would not eat her box mm -hmm. over a certain time. Mm -hmm. You you gonna allow her to give you head? The second night, look at his face. Exactly my point, nigga. You don't know where her mouth been, nigga. You just you tracking that pussy. She could be a V neck, <laughs> a version of a good neck. But I don't know that. I don't know. It's, about, it's just the mental, man. It's the mental. <laughs> It's the mental because it's like topic of the day, double standards. Well, everybody needs <laughs> double standards. Well, everybody everybody need, need neck. neck. You see everybody what I'm saying? Neck, but it's like 
Nah, bro, you can't do that, bro. So you can't. I don't feel like with boys is different though. I don't even feel like every nigga need that because it's really you. Really, as a bitch, you gotta know what to do. Some niggas think that they need head to get hard or they need head to get it right. You just gotta really know your nigga and know how to maneuver around it. Cause I can really maneuver around giving a nigga head for like six months, six months straight. I don't gotta give you no head. I just gotta know how to turn you on. I might have punched you. I'm wet. I'm not gonna lie, in six months, I don't even know. I, gonna lie. I don't know if we're gonna make it six months. I ain't gonna lie. Six months. Because you made six months without eating me out. I done went a whole year. I made not three years with a nigga. He took my virginity. And I mm. never I never gave him head. Never. Y'all niggas. I'm everybody different. That's bro. fire though. I but did. he know, but guess what though? He know why you didn't give him head though. He know why. You know what it is? I'm a, like, he know nah. that he know that you didn't give him head because you was a virgin. And he knew that it took him a while. Eventually he was gonna step that from yeah. He did accept it. He accepted it. So at, after no, he it. like he was going to spend it. three years, you talking to somebody whether I took a virginity or not. You're gonna want head, bro. No, oh, no, that's the thing, bro. If I got enough respect for you to know what type of female that you are, I know that you liable to give some head. But I don't, I, I don't know. I know that you didn't, you never did it before. So I'm not gonna put it in your head or force it on you. Sometimes the only way I'm gonna start speaking about it is if you bring it up first. The minute you bring it up, I'm gonna bring it up one hundred times. What yeah. you gotta do is say that shit one time. Um, I got a question. I got a question. I'm gonna ask you every day. That's a good question. I got a question right now. Double standard. All right. I give you head, not not in a time frame, but I gave you head before. Why does why is it that y'all expect head every time we have sex now? Part of that. It becomes part of it. Okay. You give me head. You gonna say like the double standard. Here you go. That was yeah. it. You give me head, but I can't expect you to eat me every night. That's fact. No, but it's not. I don't expect you to give me head. Every blue moon. Yeah, that's really true. Or it's in the moon. I don't expect you to give me head every night. To be honest, yeah. I'm try, but I'm gonna try. You is not trying to give nobody. No nigga is trying to I give. To I said to dick. I said. I said I can't expect you to give me head every day just because you gave me head one time. But I'm gonna try. Now that I know you open to it, the half the battle is just seeing if she's willing to do it. All right. So, so, like, look, 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 I feel like now, what? Now, what? now I'm like, no, 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 they try to chill it. You just chill it. They try to watch TV and doing all that. No, wait, because they try to beat you to the bed so that they dick is already yeah. out. You come you to the bed dressed? in the face with dick. Listen. Why are you fully dressed? There was no confusion. Listen, listen. Bro, I'm just laying down so you can get on top. <laughs> listen, listen. None of that makes sense to me because whether you dressed or undressed in the bed or ain't in the bed, that is the bed. What? <laughs> what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? So it don't really matter. Like, I'm just. It's it's not like, it. First of all, mm-hmm. niggas will get hit anywhere. I'm in a cab with your dick out. You feel what I'm saying? I'm saying. Saying. I can't down and just like you eat this thing from the back. That shit ain't so fat. That's so bad. But you can though. I can't though. No, you know you cannot. Boom! This is why it don't work. And I feel like God really made this world just like this for y'all. You could be in the elevator anywhere in public or stairs, whatever. You could whip your dick out. I could give you head. Somebody coming? It's quick. It's quick for y'all. Zip it up. I pull my pants down somewhere in public, and I hear somebody coming. I gotta get my drawers up. I gotta get my pants back up. I gotta hope that I don't get caught. No. Let, let me give you the key to the front door. Mm. You want uh, the or you want the New York Timberlands? I want the Timberlands. Don't crease my boots. Right. Now you 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 kicking the door with some sweatpants on so you can pull them up and pull them down like pull ups, <laughs> and you can be in it moving as fast as a man. <laughs> I'm saying though, you don't go, you don't gotta wear jeans all the time. You don't gotta wear a buckle to your belt. You feel like you wanna get live. You wanna get nasty. You wear sweatpants. Easy acting. You don't it's always know that, but a nigga don't know. That zipper really works for y'all. Like that zipper just. Wow. Let me I'm try you. Am I ever? Yo, so listen. I, I listen. A hundred ways, ways to die. A hundred ways to die. It's not in the bigger way. Do that. Do that. I'm just saying. 
Y'all but, could really unzip well, y'all can still and, even if y'all unbuckle, yeah. even if y'all just unbuckle and zip down. Oh, you know, dick y'all don't oh, gotta put it through this. If somebody come, all y'all gotta do is just stand up and put your t-shirt over it. That shit covered. Thick, oh, thick, oh, thick, 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 no, no, no. Dick is gone. Dick is gone. That happened to me. I promise you. Dick is gone. I cannot just pull my shirt down. My shirt came from my waist. Yours is hanging a little lower. They covered. You know, you could turn the other way. It don't matter which way I turn. If I ain't get these pants up, it's either ass or crotch out, and it's not fair. Now she happened to me last night. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It happened to Sarah last night. I was in my man's crib or whatever, talking to some boys. And we start having sex. So we thinking my other two friends are there too. So they in the room. We fucking whatever. My friend come out the room and she's watching me. He put his pants up. I'm still with my legs up like, oh, shit, trying to pull my stuff back up. That shit, that be happening. It happens, though. That shit, that has be happening. I'm just saying. I don't like that because I got caught. <laughs> I got a moment of truth. Moment of truth. What's the earliest you ever gave a bitch head? Mm. Working too hard. Nah, I don't think, I don't episode, so come on with it. Shit, first link. <laughs> end it. End it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> over the truth. Over the truth. I, you died. I'm not gonna lie to you. Moment of truth, but I might have done it one time. I did it first link because I was already talking to her, and I knew that she was gonna give me head. So I ain't care. Nah, y'all living foul. That was one time I was younger. What did my mother? I did that shit like two times. I did it one time. Yes, sir. I can't wait to body night. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even gonna body me. All right, bet you gonna fall down. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying though, like. I just got my heart broken. So I am the way I am today. And it's been real. <laughs> Hurry up with your moment of truth, please. Nigga, we got five minutes. I'm going to body you at the two minute mark. Don't play. <laughs> <laughs> Why we can't end it early? Stop trying to walk. He what said the- on the first link. Mine's the first link, too. Yeah, I just. Dusty. We young, we young and wild and free. Just out here throwing tongue everywhere. And you wild WF? Y'all yeah. probably get mad leg too. Like, it was, first of all, it wasn't like it wasn't like a random bitch though. I would never do a random. It was like like you said, but it was a bitch I was vibing with, and I knew I was getting head out there. It was just like all know. right. So look, Naya, this ain't even no moment of truth or nothing. I because I know you fucked on the first links before, so that's every female for you. Now mm-hmm. fuck on the first link. Is the same reason why we eat it on the first link. No, it's not. Because I'm not fucking on the first link. That's not happening. No, you're not. You don't have to. You don't have to give head on the first link. But you're gonna fuck on the first link. Why? Why? You saying that you eat it on the first link so that you can fuck on the first link? No, no. Why are you eating it? Why are you fucking a nigga on the first link? We cool. Because you like him, right? (laughs) No, but not talking about you said what? Why are you fucking a nigga? The first time I wanted it. it. I wanted it. So you don't know him? You just want to fuck him? Not that I don't know him, because nine times out of ten, I got to know something about you before I came to your crib. Which is the same reason why. Well, but you said you're really in. I'm fucking on the first link with a condom. Nothing's getting in me. It's a bunch of me on him. You are out here digesting these bitches. (laughs) <laughs> All right, so look, you never you fucked in the world. That's a beastie word. That's crazy. You never fucked in the world. You never, you never fucked in the world in the first link? I, I, your life? Uh, you got you think it too hard, mommy. Anybody? I don't know, I feel like I might have almost, and then I said not with a condom. I really don't. I don't really fuck on mm-hmm. that. I, I don't even do real sex, really. I don't. I'm not a person for that. Well, I'm going to let you know that I don't believe you. But, I really, honestly, I'm thinking probably one time, but literally, I don't. Oh, I don't yeah, one time, I, he had it two times. He just slipped up twice. All right, but I still didn't digest any of that. I did not digest nothing either. So I'm acting like we. Look, look, look. You just send it back out, all of it. You just like, 
I was like, kept my tongue at the clip. I was like, dude. I ain't know no better. I was that. You think it's just your spit in your mouth? Look, listen, fuck all that because it don't even matter about how fast I did it. At some point, I don't even like the thought of head. At some point in time, she it up. At some point in time, at some point in time, you give that you gave that man head, and at some point in time, you was digesting that nigga too. So we both did. We both digesting people. But you digest you digested a stranger. So why she a stranger? I knew her for a while long. You knew her, but did you know what she was doing? No. You don't know what she's doing if that was your first link. You don't know how many first link. You don't know what somebody doing on the tenth link. You don't know what nobody's doing. That don't make it ever. Like, yeah, every time you, you risk your life every time. You risk your life every time. You never know what nobody's doing. Every every time you ever have real sex in your life, you risk your life. Some girls, some girls leave us. Moment of truth, but come on with your moment of truth. Some girls leave us men and go straight to leave and straight straight to go link another nigga and get dead too. Some niggas leave their girlfriends and, and and go see other girls and do them too. It happens. You never know, nigga. You could just leave a nigga and I'm eating your box and I don't even know you just got killed. That's what I'm saying. Like somebody could get tested today and say it take a couple <clears> weeks <throat> for your test results to come in. And then your shit's coming yeah. two weeks after that. You could have got drilled raw while you waiting on your test and have something like shit like that. Shit like that. That's a fact. Like anything happened, bro. Anyway, anyway, don't mean nothing. None moment of truth, because I got two for you. Two. Right All right, go ahead. You getting two right now? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, you, you said you one. Say you no, I already did one, so you do one. I'm gonna come back. I bet. Moment of truth, Naya. Right. I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, would you? What's this girl named Gabriel? Would you ever uh give a nigga the Gabrielle Union? The fuck is that? What you mean? You nigga ass? Nah. Oh, I can't. I can't. No ass. What if you the nigga you really love like, and he like your bitch? This is the one thing I want from you. I can't. The In my mind, I think you gay. The first thing I'm, I'm the furthest I'm going is that gooch, bro. And I already think that if you like that too yeah. much, if you don't really jump when I do the gooch, you really you okay with the ass? That's how I look at it. That's a fact. Nah, bro, that's different. So you would never look at nigga ass. No. I'm not licking nobody ass. I'm telling you, right under the balls, you see that little. Right I'm there. Still the balls. Right, uh, right, right under the balls. And if you didn't jump when I did that, I already think you had your ass eight. That's how I look at it. So I bet. I feel like that's a whole different animal, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. A squirmy tongue in your ass. Or... Ew, you got a worm in it. Yeah. It don't feel good for females, if you ask me. Nah, so there's also they live. A nigga is gonna die. He's gonna that's just not right. That's not right on the nigga. Nah, if you ask for that, you were a homo. Yeah. <laughs> I go. Dwayne Wade is a homo. We just figured it out. But go ahead. Moment of truth. Have you ever? I don't know how to put this. Have you ever gave someone a head and they stink like they they juices like they discharged? Had no, 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 no. They stink. You don't give head. No. no. But my thing is that some females it comes out like it comes with the discharge. You might not have smelled it right away because they could have just got out the shower or some shit. But yeah, no. Nah, if I smell you, might throw open. Never. All right, what's your, what's your other moment of truth? Um, they can ask one too. It don't gotta be. Do, 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 you, do you have a moment of truth for Naya? Do anybody want to ask you a question? Um, anybody? Hmm. You got a moment of truth? Ask anything you want. I don't know. Give me a second. All right. Say, you don't got a moment of truth for me? Would you? Would you? Would you? If if you did something bad to your nigga, right, and he wanted you to suck it in between his toes, like suck his toes and in between his toes. Be serious, because you already know I'm not doing toes. I don't even like feet. You lying, Naya. I know your toes. If I did if you could have set me without me licking your fungus, sorry, goodbye. This is the end of the relationship. I'm not licking no toes. You the type to suck a nigga toes. No. Just so he can forgive you. No. All right. Will you shave a nigga ass? Shave? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll shave it. What if you fall in your face? I'm going to fuck him up. <laughs> I'm going to cut his ass. Watch. Literally, with the razor, I'm going to slice him. So you don't got another moment to see my ass. <laughs> question. I mean, you got to drop your name. 
Yo, man, follow me on Instagram, man. You just talking to Nate. Follow me on Instagram, Nate Blizzy two underscores. And uh, that was the moment of the cute podcast, man. For today. <laughs> Follow me at underscore Naya, N-I-A, three A dot TV. Adios, guys. Peace out, folks. <laughs>